what's up guys i'm just back for a video this time i'm doing some even more smart investing because i'm smart pants i'm smarty pants that's the reason no one is binding on him i'll just buy him i really don't want to wait for that long so i'll just buy him No, I don't care about it. It's just the prices are nice. Price nice. Mm. Just list them for 20 more K. Actually. Three. So this time I'm gonna have be having a discussion with you guys about the market, and it's a lot about the market today. Since lots of people are struggling to get cars, it's not just that means just share showing you how to do and stuff with tricks. No, I'm not gonna do tricks today. What I am going to do is that. I will be showing you guys how the market bot works, and it's not real people who buy the, our cards. It's a market bot, and everyone is inside of a different market. Sometimes, for some people, the prices are extremely high. Some people are not as lucky, and their prices are extremely low for most cards. Like this is because of the market bot. Person who is in charge of buying all your cards. Like everyone is in a different market. There's a time period where the cards just go to their peak of expensiveness, and you have to figure that out on your own. Since you're on a different market from everyone else, everyone has a different market. It's not that you're on the same market as me, and I have different things I can do. and you guys have different things you can do so guys this video is just about explaining how the market works first of all do you see do you have you guys seen why the why do you guys know how um uh, what is the phrase called a market crash happens Do you guys know what a market crash means? Market crash means the prices just go mega low. Then, but then how does this happen though? How does the market crash just crash the system and do insane things? Well, it's simple. Let's say someone. He releases the one or ten cards, who which are like what, um, thirty or forty mil right now, going somewhere near that, or maybe they are way higher. I'm just, I'm just exaggerating or something. They're probably way higher. But do you know how the cards for prices just decrease for masters, since people were like. rushing and they were like they want enough coins since they want to make space for those cards and so many people started selling their 90 masters for uh, masters but it was so many like the amount of supply of cards which were coming out was gone damn crazy and the market bot was just going all over the place and they were not able to cooperate with so many cards at once so and since everyone most people just use their four hour cycles then the market bot wouldn't be able to clean everything up in four hours come on like guys this is millions of millions of players and depending on how much they have uh, how much their stocks are it could end up taking more than three it could end up taking more than a week which is rare but it happens sometime you just can't keep up with it so then the 4 hour cycle ends then 
they start to lower the pressure a little bit and then still no responses they lower it lower it lower it lower it until the point where my 90 masters are cheaper than 80 elites yeah like this this is how market crashes happen but then you might be wondering then why is why are elites so expensive shouldn't they be a part of the market crash yeah, they kind of do, but um, let's say you have a full bag of elites, okay? Would you let's say you have a full bag of masters? Would you rather sp- would you would only do the masters, right? Yeah, well, right, yeah, everyone would do that. That is the reason. That is the reason. There's not gonna be much supply for the for the 80 elites and people are not gonna go that crazy for them so the market board doesn't even have the it has an easy job with the elites since it wants to work with the elites first then it's just gonna do all its do its thing while the masters are not not even one master selling yeah that's what happens <laughs> basically It's kind of insane to think this is the real reason we can't collect coins that easily. It's kind of insane to think about it though. Not gonna lie. Look at this. That is how 80 elites are more expensive than 90 masters, even 100 overall players. Let's see if any whales have gotten the 98 keeper. I bet you some whales already have him or something. Probably some some whales are. Oh, Nubel is there. He has much better stats than my goalkeeper, who's like the newest goalkeeper of all time. so many coins when they first get the cards and they're just able to sell them for ex- extreme prices well I also have the answer to that the answer to that is really simple it's just that they're really early awake like they come around the reset time so if they if they're around the reset time they can either easily just get the card they want and just get away with it and sell them for expensive prices since most people are sleeping around that time and that is how they make coins and coins and coins like this also happened for the one of fours i sold a one of four for 30 mil yeah that might sound kind of insane right now but i was not that that early awake but I was awake a little bit but not that early up so I was able to sell them for 30 mil and then they dropped a ton after that I think they are at 15 mil right now or 20 or something yeah some people were lucky enough to get get them um, sell them when they were like 60 mil 60 mil was rarely even thing back then you would really have to grind for them if you wanted to get them below 50 mil. So that is all for the video. Bye.